Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to do a Divine Masculine check-in. Just because, um... Yeah, I'm getting some weird energy from Divine Masculines. It's like half of them are... Well, not even half of them. Like, a part of them is feeling, like, animalistic towards you. And the other half is melting. This could be the same Divine Masculine feeling both types of way. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, fine. I'll take it. All right, we have the Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Star... King of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. So let's strain these out. <laughs> Guys, I hope everyone's enjoying the holiday season. I know it's tough with uh, being in separation, but hopefully... You guys are finding a way to find... I just heard solace, happiness. Oh, with the sun card on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys could be hanging out with kids. Your kids. Alright. <clears throat> so, when I said that the Divine Masculines were, like, feeling animalistic, it's like that um, 18 plus reading that I did. Where it's just about intimacy at this point. They don't want to involve them, uh, involve emotions. <clears throat> yeah, kind of reminds me of that song. I just saw 212. That song from Nine Inch Nails, Closer. And then the other half of the Divine Masculine, 222, as I look at the clock. I'm hearing the song by um, Monica. Angel of mine. So it's like one moment this divine masculine's feeling one way, the other moment this divine masculine's feeling in a different kind of way. So um yeah, you guys are gonna definitely need to use your discernment in this video. <clears throat> With the sun card being next to the six of cups and the star, I do feel like there is some kind of um children dynamic that's healing or childhood wounding or it could be people they've known since childhood that they're healing a situation yeah it's divine masculine energy right here the emperor and the sun yeah they could be um in a very selfish energy right now, I will say. It's weird. I keep picking up such... Like, this Divine Masculine wants to fix things with you. They want to communicate. They want to be blunt about their feelings. But I feel like they feel it's not the right time. And it could be because of all of this healing. They have a choice between two things, though. It doesn't have to be people, so take it how it resonates. But I feel like they do want to express their love for you. This Two of Cups. You guys could have really intense eye contact because these two are looking at each other. You also can mirror each other. Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So you both are coming out as divine counterparts. And we have the soulmate energy twice here with the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Past life energy. We saw the Emperor with the Sun. I feel like you both want to communicate and you both want to gain clarity on this situation about your feelings for each other. Because as you can see, the feelings is smack dab in the middle of you two. And going back and forth. Clarity.
Someone is needing to walk away from what no longer serves them, and it could be finances here with the Four of Pentacles. Divine Feminines, this could be you as well. This could be you needing to walk away in, from holding on to something. This could be your Divine Masculine that you're needing to walk away from right now. Not saying forever, just right now. Let's clarify the... All right, let's clarify this King of Swords for the collective, please. God, Michael, Spirit. Ooh. Yeah, this King of Swords is going through judgment right now. So remember, um, judgment is the 5D, basically, and um, justice card, where justice, the card, is uh, 3D. So this is the divine calling justice on this, uh, um, sorry, judgment on this divine masculine. They've been juggling for too long, going back and forth. It's time to fix things. Six of Swords. I just saw 616. Yeah, split the deck at the Queen of Wands. Let's clarify this. Two of Pentacles, please, for the collective. God, Michael, Spirit, let's clarify this shoe. Yep, juggling a third-party situation, guys. I was trying to stay away from it, but this could also mean um, juggling whether or not to reconcile with you as well. Queen of Wands again on the bottom of the deck. They find you extreme, extremely attractive. Very, excuse me, sorry. Um... Very intelligent. Uh, I'm hearing the gift of gab. They feel like you're stern, but it's what makes you sexy. Like you holding your boundaries is kind of a turn on for them. They didn't feel like you would be able to do it. But the magician and the queen of wands, though, I'm kind of getting the vibe this is you. Like you are balancing divine feminines. You are balancing your masculine and feminine energies in your... You're, um, yeah, you're planting your own seeds, creating your own rebirth after a spiritual awakening. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. They're very in impressed and inspired by you. Clarify this Queen of Bullshit. Okay. So clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Tower comes out with the Page of Wands in reverse and the Eight of swords on this end that's showing the sun and the queen of wands what else do we have the tower the devil damn eight of pentacles well shit <laughs> um <laughs> Divine Feminines, you could be working too much. Like, excessively too much. Which I get it. It's like 5 a.m. over here where I live. And I just finished working all day. Mind you, I went out in the morning. And I'm still awake. So, I can relate... So, yeah, you may need to um, slow it down, Divine Feminines, if you're working too hard. It's it's time to take much-needed rest. Um, I'm definitely getting the self-love thing. Get, get out of your head about um, waiting for a message or some form of communication. Yeah, it's like it's blocking you. And trust me, I get it. It's hard not to think of your twin. For sure. Just saw the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles wanted to come out. I was looking at the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Someone could definitely be needing to leave 
a situation with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. It could have to do with a family dynamic. So someone's family could be really toxic. And there's a lot of, um, like, inner conflict in people, jealous and in competition with you. Could have to do with your work with all these pentacles. I'm hearing, um, yeah, people didn't believe in you. People didn't support you. So the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. For the Collective, God, Michael, Spirit. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is the Three of Cups. With the Page of Cup, uh, Page of Wands, excuse me. Yeah, so with this combination, someone is definitely not letting go of you, Divine Feminines. And I don't think you're letting go of them either. And this is why I think you guys are in, in your heads. Um, you guys both want reconciliation. And you're both wanting to send some kind of message or communication to get things started. Keep it light, playful, flirty. Um, you guys could want to go out with each other. Um... I'm hearing, I want to see the other side of you. So, yeah, it, for example, before, um, like, I would think what it would be like for my Divine Masculine to flirt with me because we were just friends, so we never flirted with each other. Um, there was, like, one inkling that she kind of did it, but I kind of blew it off. <laughs> Um, but even at that, I don't even know if she was actually trying to flirt or she's not like really good at it. <laughs> I'm not even sure. But this is what I think, uh, your divine masculine is thinking is like, they want to see the other side of you. They're just really trapped. Yeah. They're overthinking a lot. They're trapped in their mind. So divine feminine, you're trapped with this devil energy of overworking yourself to death and they're trapped in this victim mentality energy and if both of you don't take a chill pill and sit back and listen to the divine you guys are going to get hit with some kind of tower moment that's not going to be the best with the devil over there i'm hearing you both have everything that you need to make anything happen whenever you guys want Clarify the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Judgment. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Look at that, man. That is awesome. To clarify. The Ace of Swords. The Sword of Truth. Destiny and Judgment. Yeah. It's destined to happen. It's faded is what I'm hearing. Like you two are meant to be together. You guys could be hermit in right now, or you're needing to. I just saw 1333 or 333. So maybe during this winter season, you guys, I'm so sorry that I keep yachting. Um, you guys should go in hibernation and do some much needed healing. I feel like after, after you hibernate and do some healing and self reflection you guys will come out in the spring brand new <laughs> let's clarify this star card please oh my gosh this, this damn three of cups divine feminines you could be manifesting a scenario to be able to fix things with your Divine Masculine. That or you're needing to pick up manifestation to help with the situation. I'm hearing to help clear their mind. So maybe you're like this teacher for this Divine Masculine. Like a, I'm hearing a guardian, like guidance. Energetically you can help. Um, this divine masculine flow. F 
flow. Also, oh, this divine masculine is still resisting, going against the current, keeping their options open, even though they're only thinking about you. Yeah, you see on the bottom of the deck, the moon and what's popping out, the five of cups. This divine masculine is still lying to themselves. Let's clarify this six of cups, please. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content. Six of Cups came in the neutral position, which again, if you've re if you've watched any of my videos, I don't take reversals or neutral unless I'm really called to it. But with this, I am pretty called to it. Um, I do feel like slowly this divine masculine is changing their perspective and the way they see a certain situation. Like I said, it could be involving children it could be um from their childhood someone they've known for a long time yeah four of swords which is the minor arcana of the high priestess so they're needing to still do some healing to get in that high priestess energy guys i read energies not gender i was gonna clarify the knight of cups and we're stalked by this page of wands so i feel like you guys are definitely going to get a message. I feel like this is how it happens. <laughs> I think it's going to be a light and fluffy message. I think I said that before. I don't know why I keep saying light and fluffy. Well, Empress. We saw the Emperor earlier. And we saw the Moon card, the Sun card. So definitely Divine Masculine Feminine Energy. Yeah, we have the King of Wands here. So I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, With the King of Wands and the Page of Wands... This Divine Masculine may come at you flirty. I just saw 707. But I do feel like it's a way to open the door. They do want to fix things with the Justice here. And the Page of Swords. Four of Cups. Yeah, they're feeling rejected right now. So they could be watching you on social media. Or a social media platform. Where they're feeling a bit rejected right now. And this could be why they're in this um, selfish, selfish energy. But Divine Feminines, we're all adults here. You don't have to babysit anyone's feelings. You don't have to be rude, but you don't have to coddle either. If they're feeling some type of way and not coming towards you and asking you whatever it is that they want to ask you, which I just split the deck at the five of wands, so they could be thinking that you have other options or people. So they could be feeling rejected because they feel like you've moved on, which you are allowed to move on, Divine Feminines, especially since a lot of us have been waiting for so long and you're not supposed to wait. You're supposed to heal, move forward with your life, live in the present moment. Hold space for your Divine Masculine when he or she is ready, but they have to put forth the effort. Yeah, uh, it kind of seems like you're dealing with a divine masculine that has a lot of fantasies in their hand, their head, but they don't put forth action. Yeah, Knight of Swords. They could be in impulsive with their message. Um, they could be really an overthinker. Yeah, coming up with options. They want to. They want to balance out the scales. They're just trapped in their head. Yeah. They could be dealing with the tower moment right now as well. Sleepless nights for sure. All right, let's see. Let's get some messages from the hidden truths. God, Michael, spirit, messages from the divine masculine to divine feminine consciously at this time. If nothing was holding back the divine masculines from expressing their love. All right. I replay our conversations over and over. I left you before you could leave me. You and I were too young. We did get this six of cups too, guys. So take it out. It resonates. I'm getting this could be a past life situation card too. Also, for me personally, I sometimes use that as the age gap card. So just use your discernment with that. 
So many things remind me of you. Bottom of the deck is Allah. I love you unconditionally. So this Divine Masculine is waking up. Let's see without getting too graphic. I'm going to see the energy from the sensual, the tarot of sensual magic. God, Michael Spirit, how is the Divine Masculine's feeling for their Divine Feminines at this current time? We have the Hangman. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, man, that devil card. <laughs> that devil card. Ooh, the lovers. So this could be a twin flame or they could want a menage a trois, which is a threesome, for those of you that do not know. This is the hangman. I just want to kind of put it down here, though. I'm not going to go into details, but what I'm picking up um, you guys can kind of look at the images and go from there. Uh, I do feel like there is a divine masculine that likes your scent, if you know what I mean. Not just perfume or cologne, but like your scent. And they want to smell like you. Like, okay, we'll move on from that. Um, yeah, this, uh, we did get the three of cups. So, I don't know why I'm getting this Divine Masculine has... Wow. Look at what's underneath, guys. Three of chalices. Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine has thought of you, the karmic, and themselves. That is gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, they definitely have thought of self-pleasuring and... Touching you everywhere. Mm. Uh, their desires makes them want to change their perspective. Someone could want to go downtown on you as well. With the tying up and all that good stuff. Wow, we're getting another card. I just split the deck at the wheel. So three people. So, yeah, you could be dealing with a Divine Masculine that definitely wants to have a threesome with you. Guys, again, use your own discernment. If you don't think your masculine's into that, or if you're not comfortable, you just say it. You don't have to do anything you are not comfortable with. Not everyone is into threesomes, you know. Um, I am seeing the Queen of Pentacles in here again. So, I think someone's into your feet. Because I got that one again. Pulling some hair. Definitely loving on your back. Sucking on your fingers. Yeah, I got the moon card I just saw, which has four people in it. So you both could have people. Um, you could also be... I don't know why I keep picking this up. It's so annoying. But polyamorous. I'm not throwing any shade to each his own, you know. Um... It's just, I don't, I know not everyone resonates with that message, so I don't want to keep pulling it <laughs> if a lot of people can't relate to it. But it's okay. If the message needs to come out, it needs to come out, guys. Anyways, hit that like, subscribe, comment. Happy holidays, guys. I love you. Peace.